some tweaks to the overlay okay, and we got a full team now this doesn't really seem fair though um, gonna need some people to swap I guess I think I got it. I really need a second screen for this. Yeah. <laughs> uh, uh, I, 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 have you checked that stream? Uh, yeah, I have. It seems fine. Just. Um, I'm pretty proud of it. <laughs> okay, uh, I think we should get in a private channel though, so we won't get disturbed. Yeah, what's uh, those boxes? Uh, oh, <laughs> you're moving my name. Uh, what's, <laughs> with the box what's with the boxes? Uh, th that's so people know who are casting. Okay. Um, by the way, I don't think those teams are really fair right now. Uh, let's see. No. Uh, in my opinion, it, it's not fair when Click Click Flash and Tornil are on the same team. Uh, oh, I mean Kagi, uh, Kaguya and Tornil. Um. Yeah, so swap kick, click, click, flash for a Hovler and too dangerous for an average boo. Right, uh, click. Um. Something like that. No, uh, I, th Hovler I, I, I think if average boo goes to team one, now it would be sort of fair. Sort of fair. Or Havler. Yeah. Uh, either of the two. And then if Click Click Flash joins them, I think it's. I think that this would be okay. Yeah. This seems fair. And then a stream link. I'm gonna uh, refresh the scene to see if it still works. You have 14 followers, man. You're doing well. Yay. That, that, that's also a few followers from my old ga uh, old streaming days. When I uh, was desperately trying to reach gold. Still failing miserably. And then it was season 4 and it was pe easy peasy. Yeah. Um. Yeah, we, we'll do that in the, uh, the thing. Um, loading screen, that's what it's called. Master cheat sheet. Udox. Well, I, I'm ready, I'm, I just don't know if Too Dangerous is ready. Too Dangerous? Okay, uh, was, l l uh, l l let's go to... Uh, Channel of our own. Uh, Admiral Peter Caster, my minions, Snurp and Too Dangerous. <laughs> I'm gonna add your name to the list, man. Ah, oh, damn you. Um, does Shea have his own page? Uh, Shea have his own thing in this. Victory Waffle Play, trying to set up a Zen Twitter. God, they're really trying to get this serious, aren't they? User yeah. disconnected from your channel. Oh, somebody disconnected. Yeah. Um, okay. Oh, DMX is gone. Yeah. Click a clash. Good luck. Thank you. Channel switched. <laughs> User joined your channel. Yeah. Okay. Could have told me. Here but we are. Okay. Um, I told you where we, we were gonna switch. Yeah, that I, I knew that, but not to where. So I just had to look. Um, But are those teams? Uh, do they have something Skype like uh, Skype like Skype or, or shit? Um, well, one team is the one above us, Danish Kid Kaguya Sekai. Uh, I don't think Hoffler is going to join them, and perhaps Click Click Flash going to join them. I don't know. Uh, yeah. 
that might work. Um, I just have to look or something. Just this community, though. What? No, this um, this Teamspeak. Uh, uh, it, it's from the Zen community. Okay, might save it then. Uh, you do that bookmark. Add to bookmark. Mark. <laughs> This will be interesting. But you have cast the game before? Yeah, yeah, it's on YouTube and Twitch. And Twitch. But wait a people can hear my horrible, horrible casting. Yep. Let's okay. go. Here is the first match of Sunday. Uh, first of all, let's introduce ourselves. I'm Admiral Pete, uh, a very long member from the Zen community. Uh, with me is my fellow caster, as he does. Tell something about oh. yourself. What? Tell no, something I'm, I'm about yourself. I'm not really that long of part of Zen community, and not that serious, but... Yeah. Hey, why should about I guess? About the Zen community itself, it's a community mainly uh, based around having fun games, playing with each other, completely rage-free. Um, if you're interested, join the chat group. Uh, you have just click on this little square here, as you can see in the stream now. Click on the little balloon with a plus sign and just enter Zen, press enter, and you will automatically join the Zen channel. As you can see, a lot of people in it, a lot of people are nice. Uh, if you want to make it auto join on Connect, you can always click on the little settings thingy here and check the box auto join on startup, and you will always join the Zen channel. Okay, uh, the players we have today. Uh, of course, we have DMX, uh, Tornail. Tornail's uh, not a, a case I want to address a little more. Uh, Tornail is, uh, used to be in last season a very high ELO player. His team actually got rank 1 for a little while and he ended up in the top 8 ranked challenger teams. Um, I'm not sure, but I, if I'm not mistaken, he nearly got qualified for the LCS. Was close one. Uh, we always have the two dangerous Kalang and Average Bu. Uh, on the other side, one of my fellow casters playing right now, and Tira Songsteel, Sekai Kaguya, a Hovler, and Click Click Flash. Um, not very much to say, I don't know them well yet. Um, to the bands, uh, Asilos, what do you think of the bands? Well, uh, some are very, ge uh, very generic. Brom, Yasuo, they're almost always banned. Yeah. Um, I like the Maokai ban. I guess he doesn't want to play it against it in the top lane. Or don't want to have him e against him. Even after the nerfs? Yeah, it, it's still fairly strong and still used as a top laner. Um, Evelyn true, yeah. is a ban you don't see that often. Well, she can be quite a terror in jungle. Just popping out from everywhere, you're forced to buy pink wards, spend more money than usual to prevent ganks. Yeah, very dependent on the Evelyn, and since I don't know any of these players, I don't have to say that much about it. Um, True. And same goes for Rengar. It can be very dangerous in the jungle, but can also be horrible and almost useless. Um, and in this band, but yeah, well, uh, Nidalee is quite self-explanatory, I guess. Uh, especially since the rework, uh, when she builds AD, she just becomes a huge monster, uh, which still deals uh, a lot of magic damage. Um, right now, because of that, she's nearly like Jax. A really high amount of damage, uh, with a nice mix of physical and magical damage, uh, which makes it very hard to build against her. And not a pick you really want against you in the top lane. Okay. No. Uh, the first pick we saw was Vi in jungle. Well, that's to be expected from DMX. Um, her exact words were, I can only play Vi well. So yeah, it's to be expected she doesn't play any other champion when it's actually being streamed. On the other uh, side, an Olaf jungle. Quite unorthodox, don't you think? Yeah. Yeah, uh, it, it can be extremely good. 
depending on how you go, you, you can be, yeah, an, an absolute well nightmare for the AD carry of the other team for the back line because you just run through everything and start hitting them in the face, hitting them in the face. Um, and then a Caitlyn pick, uh, fairly safe. Uh, you don't see it that often, but it's always and good. And here comes the interesting part. It's a vein pick into a Caitlyn pick. I oh, think Torno has quite the confidence in his vein mechanics. I guess so. Well, as you said, if he really was, uh, if his team was so high in the, in the rankings, he should, and he, he was the AD carry for, uh, from that team, he should be able to play this. And then, and then a Gnar. Well, can't say too much about him. I, I have played Gnar a few him. times. Um, he, he can trade pretty well. In lane, he's pretty fun, actually, to play. Uh, but un unlike certain people would like to make you believe, Gnar isn't OP or anything. He's mainly fun, in my opinion. Um... On the purple team again, we see what I think is going to be a Velkos support. Uh, I've once seen it. Uh, it can be really annoying. Really continuous poke with the true damage if you get the three stacks off. Pretty strong, pretty annoying. And then we yeah. see Hufflar picking the rise in the top lane with teleport. Uh, yeah, the Coming back to the Velkos pick, it's uh, especially to get with Caitlyn, the poke in that lane is gonna be insane. Yeah. That will be something to, uh, something interesting. It's got, it's a, a really nice pick against Vayn. Vayn with a shorter range, uh, very sensitive to poke heavy uh, compositions in the bot lane. Yeah. And if they play it well, it's gonna be terror for Tornil. Yep. Uh, Nami support pick. Yeah. It's a very popular pick lately very in popular. LCS. Yeah. Um, it helps uh, the AD carry in that it, ha it has a heal. It has movement speed uh, buffs and a slow on your own auto, ta auto attacks when placed uh, on the AD carry. And of course a stun and a knock up. So. Yeah. And it, the stun is actually pretty easy to land on this Velkos. Velkos is a very immobile champion, of course. Yeah. Uh, and uh, they might have a little advantage there if they can get into the range, that is. Yeah. And then uh, a Lux. Not a pick you see often, but again, when used well, uh, dangerous. And depending on how the player uh, decides to use the Lux ult. Yeah, I have uh, not much uh, <laughs> trust in the Lux to be honest because he's against a Z. Zed yeah. is a really nasty pick against the Lux. Uh, the moment Lux just launches her skill shot uh, combinations, Z will just ulti, dodge them, and do his own combination uh, where Lux can't do much except shield herself. Uh, and most of the time Lux will die unless she is going to rush Zonia's first of course which which would shut down the Zed pretty hard but to get there is still quite a chunk of gold yeah oh uh, some interesting picks some ge uh, fairly generic picks it, uh, I guess it's will, it will be a good game I hope we will see we now have to wait for the 3 minutes delay until we can actually get into the game. Uh, in the meantime, I'm gonna fiddle a bit to see if I can effectively use my overlays. Let me test it a little bit. I'll be right back. Yeah, I can do that. Very well. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to show, uh, ask them in the chat. I will uh, try to answer them, and in the meantime, I will also try to uh, advertise a bit about the homepage. Uh, at the moment, we do have a Twitter, uh, I mean a YouTube account, that should be this one. I'm going to paste the link in the chat. 
Um, there are only two games on it right now. I fixed something so I can actually put entire games uh, in one movie on it. I uh, will try to do it more often with uh, certain games I've cast and try to stimulate the other casters to do it as well. Uh, if you guys have any suggestions for maybe uh, a bit music uh, on the background or something or maybe no music, depends on your preference, please let me know. Here we go. As it is, are you here? Okay, I'm still alive. Yes, I am. I am here. Oh. Well, one of the things we can discuss right now is the skins. Um, the skins, of course. Yeah. I personally really like the Lux and the Nami skin. They are just fabulous. Uh, on the purple team bit less skins, although I do really like Caitlyn's skin. Um, if the Antero Songster would have had balls, he would have had the Pentakill or Brola skin. But no, sadly no. Right. And right at this moment we have 9 viewers. It's nearly my personal record. Happening. Which is sad. Very sad. Why are you no big streamer? Because I'm no Dyrus. You're no Dyrus. Well, we're at it into the game. I hear uh, the sound. Overlay number two. It's gonna work. Working. There it is. Um. Oh, and let me. I'm, I'm gonna edit your name. Give me a second. Did you misspell it? No, 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 no. Just that this is a new overlay, so Man I had to put in your name again. Oh, okay. There we go. Okay. Uh, let's look at the items uh, and put these in the right spot. Items are very, fairly uh, normal. Uh, normal Doran's uh, blade starch for the carries and in our top lane. Rise with the Sapphire Crystal, so he can use more abilities, has more mana, 
can be more of a nuisance in lane. And of course, you only need 300 more gold for a steer. Yeah. Would you prefer the good call? Or 800 yeah. for a... Uh, um, <laughs> Catalyst. Catalyst, yes. Yeah. I do think he is going to have a little problem against the Knar early game. Because the Knar can actually just keep auto-attacking your ass. Uh, keep proccing his W passive as, as, as mini Gnar. Uh, which actually hurts pretty much. I've seen a lot of people uh, maxing the Q on Gnar. Uh, but my personal preference is maxing the W. Well, here we go. Uh, junglers are getting their pools. Both are starting the bottom lane buff as usual. And I'm curious to see if they are both going for the top lane gank at 3 minutes 20. I lost a lot of help in the red buff. Yep, I guess Torno isn't as nice for his junglers to actually help them a lot. <laughs> it's understandable though for a Venus fan, you really want to get in your lane early, get that 6, get a little bit of lane pressure on. Yeah, especially when up against the Caitlyn and then the Velkos. Because yeah. if, if you have a lot of minions against Velkos, his, his Q is so harder to land, and Caitlyn Q is to deal less damage. Oh, and, and there was a really nice... Gnar, oh, yeah, Gnar went deep, he got Whoa. the first blood. Told you those the, the Gnar W's hit hard. Those Gnar W's hit really hard. Yeah. Oh, and sadly, four eyes didn't have the gold for a uh, mana rejuvenation beat. No. So he bought two wards and uh, biscuits. Yes, against the vision against the uh, Vi. Uh, who might come into ganking since he doesn't have a splash up right now. Yeah, and I see Vi coming in here in the top lane going for the lane gank. Is it gonna work? Uh, too oh. dangerous going a lot more defensive. That might give him away a bit. Uh, Olaf is coming in for the counter gank. I think Olaf's instincts are going up and alerting him. In the meantime, we see a little skirmish here uh, between the Z and the Lux in the lane. Okay. And here, here they go, here they go. Where are they gonna focus? Can focus the rise? And bam, he's down. So is the car. I don't think these two will fight back now. Uh, or did use this ghost, which will not be up for quite some time. Yep. Um. If we look in the bot lane, the Vayne is doing pretty good. Um, dodging built over peacemakers just by a millimeter, uh, keeping up with farm with it. Okay. Very impressive. That's going. Oh, and that's his ham. Is yeah. Boo gonna die? Boo yeah. is gonna die. Yeah. That's the terror of the set. Who didn't have enough mana, so he could have killed. Battle of the jungles in the top lane, and it's DMX on Vi winning it. That's a harsh for the Olaf. Lane. Sure. The bot lane. It's an eventful match, that's for sure. Yep. Five kills uh, in five minutes. Can they keep the kill per minute up? That's the question. Oh dear. The vein is getting hardly poked. Yeah, that, that's the danger of the Valkos to Caitlyn Dane. The poke is incredible. And they Especially actually got the advantage right now, they have laid a bit pushed up. Oh, no. The build of Peacemaker barely missed. The Tornwell shouldn't stay right now. What, what well, he, he sure is showing balls. <laughs> ah, the heal. I guess uh, Turner just doesn't want to lose the experience and the CS. He just needs that gold for Bilgewater uh, thing. By with missing her Q, so nothing really happened. Got one out attack off, and that was it. Okay, Vayne is backing off. How much gold does she have? 1400. Um, oh, Vayne's probably going for the Vamp Scepter boots, that's my guess. 
Or no boots. I... Oh, well, okay. My game lagged for a moment there. My uh, screen, so... I'm sorry. Didn't see a lot of things happening. Okay. Um, I have some technical issues. Let's see. Let's look at the difference between this rise and nor. They've both gone uh, for a lot of exchanges. Not that much for the farm. Uh, if you compare it to the 80 carries who were on 44 for the 53 for the cable. Um, I'm not sure if that's a good decision from the rise. Uh, my experience with the rise mainly wants to uh, stack steer, get farm, and just wait till he has like two main items and then he's gonna wreck face. Uh, too dangerous Ungnar is making it a bit difficult uh, by exchanging it. I think my game is lagging a bit as well now because this doesn't look how it should. Sorry for the technical difficulties. Yes. Yeah, I, I have the same. I think my game is lagging. I wonder if the player players had some lag as well. And I'm back. <laughs> Sorta. No, I'm not back. <laughs> Spectator data unavailable. Game will now exit. Oh, that sucks. Yeah, it's the same. I'm now currently reconnecting. But it's going very slow. Unable to download spectator data, game will now exit. Again. There it goes. It's reconnecting. Yep, no, I'm reconnected. Um, Has anything happened? Uh, keep quite keep some skills. Well. Uh, yeah, there have, there have been some kills. Uh, one for blue side, I think, and four for red side, five for red side, uh, for purple side. And I'm in. If I just tried to steal the red buff, but that was one step ahead. And killed her, and barely survived the deluxe laser, the deluxe hold. But, um. That now has three kills. Rice has one. Uh, Caitlin has two. Olaf has one, and Balkus has two assists. So this game seems to be going in favor of the purple side. Just don't underestimate the late game potential of the blue team. Oh. Uh, Anar getting really tanky, getting that W damage uh, of uh, a vein just. Shredding the tanks and five just going ham on the Caitlyn. The only one that can actually do something here would be the Zed. Uh, Zed just picked up his fourth kill. Uh, this is really bad for the mid lane. And a fat Zed is well, uh, as an uh, fat fat uh, Olaf, something you don't want as an AD carry. Uh, no. 
this is uh, actually when for the ability boost. Right. There was no follow up from, uh, from the bot lane by Vi, they were too far away. I went a little to ham. And now bot lane has two more kills. And Nami doesn't have an ult. Nothing really going as planned. And this will be the first dragon of the game, if I'm correct. And it's gonna be picked up by, by Red Side, by uh, Purple Team. And that will swing the gold difference in their favor even more. It, it will well, large, it's enlarge the gap. It's nearly 4.5k gold difference. Uh, the gold difference is mainly on the mid and laners and AD carries, I would guess. Yep, Z has a more than twice the amount of gold Lux has, and in it carries Caitlyn has 1100 gold extra. Uh, only the blue team jungler is ahead in comparison to its counterpart, and even in the top lane, Rise has a more gold uh, than the Nar. Let's see if the purple team can actually hold this advantage. Um, it's a legendary line. The we got the late game. Um, the but if it keeps going like this, it's not really sure if there's going to be a late game. Double kill yeah. for Zed. Zed picking up a double kill. <coughs> now they can just keep pushing mid lane. Maybe get that inner turret. If they go for it, they will see Nar at top lane and the Vayne at bottom lane, so they will know only Nami will be there. Uh, so yeah, they will take it. And if they don't see Nar and Vayne backing off, they're going for the red buff, I think. Vayne is um, probably getting a third for this in return, maybe dying afterwards, depending on how fast Purple Team can move. Yeah, Toro is just concerned with uh, he has to finish his bl uh, Blaze Root King. And I think Vayne will suicide right now. Oh, yeah, sure. that's he sad. Oh, he, he, he got hit by the Valkos ult. He will wait here. And Zed will pick up the skill. No. No, it will be for Valkos. No assists. This game is going, getting worse and worse for the blue team. Oh, and there is a, a really nice ult stun combination from the Nar. Uh, Arise, force the flash. Uh, two dangers will dive this, pick up this skill yep, and will walk flash. away. Here you see the danger of a Nar and his stun lock when done correctly. And you see blue team moving up to the top lane, maybe going for the sturt. But you see Blue Falcos team. moving in return. Blue team desperately wants that turret and they will dive to Falcos now. He's very squishy and there he goes down. There's a teleport from Rise. Yeah. But it will but not be in time. It is too late. Will they go oh, for oh, the Olaf, Olaf now? No, they will. Olaf if they are smart, they will run. Middle. If they stay, this is going to be really bad for Blue Team. Yeah, yes. there goes the piece of death mark. Nar died, and there is the fourth kill for the purple team. What seemed like a good plan really backfired on them. No. The and purple team actually will get the turret. They will actually lose a turret instead of gaining one. Uh, Tornil is still farming like mad on the vein, trying to get back in the game. Uh, I think he hopes to get back by farming before any inhibitor turrets will be get. Uh, that was the flash for the Lux. A bit unnecessary if you ask me. Uh, but at least she is certain that she survived it right now. Maybe Lux was expecting uh, a snare from Rice. Flash snare. 
Even though Raz doesn't have a splash, maybe Lux doesn't know. Um, just a really preemptive flash. Might have been. Yeah, it probably wasn't necessary, but. Got too scared, and I uh, can't blame him for it. When you face four people from the other team. Alright, if you look at the gold difference, more than 7k gold difference. Uh, Z, very strong, 901. Uh, he is just truly incredible right now. Although he didn't went for the standard, later ruined King build on the Z. Uh, he actually went for the extra burst from the Hydra, uh, which in this situation and served him pretty well for the triple kill. The double kill for Z and another kill. A nice interrupt uh, on the on the Vi Q by Valkos. Well played. No. This might give them an inner, an uh, inhibitor turret. And the perhaps even time. the inhibitor, the Vein Ordinar won't be able to defend it on their own against these three incredibly fat and strong champions. No, but the other players, as you can see, are, are up again. The, 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 yeah. the respawn timers aren't long. So and they won't even get an inhibitor turret out of it. Caitlyn backed off. Didn't want to go for it. Oh, Nar. And there's Tornal. Tornal's going deep. He has a Blade Rune King. He used it. Uh, popped his ult. Trying oh, instant. Yeah. And there he goes on. A nice the from the uh, Vi ult on the Z. Uh, Vi it's dying for it. I think Vi expected more backup by the team. But it just and there is the there. combo on the vein. They did and pick up the kill on the Valkos. The Olaf's gonna join the fray. The Z is planning to go deep. There he goes. Is he going for the double kill? The Caitlyn's coming in and it hits the Vein. Vein dies. Oh. Uh, Lux is on her own now. Can she snare the Olaf? Olaf still has his Ragnarok on. So if she snares Ragnarok, I guess it's he forgot about it. It, it doesn't matter. The Caitlyn has the kill. There goes Dignar again, diving the rise under the turret once again, using his incredible burst and in it tankiness, but he does die for it. Well, in um, the meantime, the dragon got up. Uh, Perp team is moving to clear it and secure the gold extra for their team. This will be the second dragon for Purple team and the second dragon of the game. They have the control now. This uh, purple team is in full control of this game. Red, if red team can reach re uh, the late game, they might have a chance. But don't forget that Rise is also a, very, uh, a late game champion and only gets stronger. And because of the Z, if, if Z does it well, well, Vayne is out of the equation in every team fight almost immediately. Either Vayne or Lux, but in any case, a high priority target will be forced to back off a lot. Or, of course, counter build the Z. In case of Lux, that means building an hourglass. Uh, for the Vayne, it would actually mean building a Mercurial Scimitar. Uh, yes. there, you, you don't have a lot of people uh, using it. Oh, the VQ missed. Um, but you can actually uh, Quicksilver Sash away uh, the Z-Ult. Oh, that's a kill for the Valkos. A nice com combo for the yeah. And the Z going and ham. There goes the... That's a quadra kill for the purple team. Purple team. Uh, only if I got away, that's definitely an inhibitor. This will be an inhibitor. But And there is the surrender. Oh, well, a short game. Maybe uh, in the balance needs a little bit of tweaking. Yeah. 